Good morning, walkers, you cheeky devils, you. The sun is rising here at the Bay of Funchal, Madeira. A new day dawns, and it's not just any day. It's everybody's favourite day. No, not my birthday, although that comes close second. It is the 25th of December. Christmas. So stay with us, we'll wander through the town, we'll see what's open, we'll see who's around, and we'll just have a little sense of what it's like here on Christmas Day. It's the main street you'd probably uh, know quite well if you've come here for a day or for a cruise. Avenida Ariaga, and there's the famous nativity scene over on the right. Here we've got some not so famous uh, people off the cruise ships, I believe. So there's two cruise ships in today. I think when it comes to the new year, we're expecting up to 15 cruise ships. So most of those will be out in the bay. To be a spectacular evening. Plenty of people making use of the nice cafes along here. And hello to you, sir. Of course, if you saw our market night video, this is a lot quieter. So everyone's at home, traditional Christmas day with family. But still, plenty of tourists around, a few locals. There are a few cafes open, of course, that cater to the uh, tourist population, but most places you'll find are closed. A few good sports in uh, Christmas attire. So Christmas is my favourite day. What I really love especially is hiding all those little eggs around the garden, around the house and uh, watching the kids come around and try and find them. And of course dressing up in the rabbit costume, collecting all the eggs in the basket perfect day and of course all those uh, chocolates at the end of the day favorite day Christmas also quite like Easter Easter with a traditional tree a little fairy on top and all the lights around it that's my second the Ritz cafe
there's plenty of people still working today it's a big tourist industry here and so people are working in the cafes working in the hotels but they seem to manage the shifts okay so perhaps they're just working half day today or maybe they took yesterday off see what this looks like at night. Imagine all those lights lit up, then uh, we've got a video for that. Back to, we've got a video for most things. Uh, except something like athlete's foot, or ingrown toenails. We haven't got anything like that yet at the moment. When we come to think of it, it's an idea for a walk. Baltazar Theatre. So it's gonna let's head down here, just down towards the front. When the cruise ships are in town, it tends to be that road that we just left, Avenida Ariaga, and then the uh, promenade down here that tends to be the busiest. Naturally, because it's easy walking distance of the cruise ships. Although some people obviously get the shuttle buses in, it really isn't that far. It's a, a 20 minute walk, perhaps depending where you're parked in the port. Could be a 10 minute walk. It's quite pleasant. Places along here that are open. Restaurant just over there in front of us. What look like white tents. Uh, very pleased to have that there. It was two years ago we had to take shelter. Uh, we came out for a walk on Christmas Day and the rain came down. It was so windy it was horizontal. So we took shelter just up on the right there, up in the CR7, the Ronaldo Museum. And when the rain abated, for, we had a few minutes reprieve to run and uh, dry off in the restaurant here. There's one of the cruise ships. Funnily enough, we might just have a video coming out soon uh, about what it's like 
to uh, arrive in Madeira on a cruise ship, how to spend your day. And we've got something else planned too. So if you're an independent traveller, if you're a bit of a digital nomad, what might a cruise offer you, perhaps? So stay tuned for that. We have got something in the pipeline for that. But for now. I hope you're bobbing your head along to all this music. This is all going to be fun editing, because I'm sure all this is going to get flagged up by YouTube. But for now, I could ignore all that and just enjoy the music and the atmosphere. One would think after a while, having visited Funchal so many times, that one could get bored of this promenade, but it is still quite beautiful. So are you going to be in Funchal for the new year? So there's many places to view the quite amazing fireworks. If you're staying in a hotel and they've got a rooftop, then it might be that uh, that might be a good place to watch. You can watch all the way around the bay. But my personal favourite is down here on the seafront. Because you are really immersed then completely surrounded by the fireworks. Cruise 
Premiership number two. And so this is where a lot of people will be waiting. New Year's Eve for a perfect view of the fireworks. So I hope you've enjoyed our walk and wherever you are in the world we really hope that you're able to spend today with the people you love or your family <laughs> I'm sure they're both the same thing and we just want to say a big thank you for your support for following us until the next time happy Christmas Feliz Natal.